Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. And here we have some interesting news to share with you guys. Uh, but first of all, I think we have to start with this particular video of Aboki who was seen hawking Biafra's flag amidst Nanda Kano's arrest. Yeah, this is interesting, right? So let's watch the video. Um, yeah. Kamara. I could have told me. See how Aboki selling Biafra, Biafra. Kamara. This is one like the gas can See a book selling Biafra flag in Abuja here. Can you imagine Biafra have become a very big nation? See a big house boy selling the Biafra flag here. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so this uh, was seen in Abuja, the federal capital territory. But let me actually read out this article uh, for you guys. Drama as Aboki Hawks Biafra inscribed Towe in Abuja. And he went ahead to say a clip of a man spotted in a capital city of Abuja selling Biafra inscribed item has surfaced. The obtained and viewed video shows a young vendor on mobile trading carrying Biafra branded towel, which is already banned in some state within Nigeria. We understand Biafra activities, agitation and campaign in the country has been opposed majorly by northern extraction and perceived anyone promoting the Biafra agenda in similar ways as enemy of peace to Nigeria. This is coming when the president-led government has taken strict measures against Biafra promoters, including callers of the separate country from other regions. Recall sometime in May 2021, vendors selling newspaper bearing IPOB were arrested and were later freed on bail. A similar operation has been witnessed in Abia, Delta, Anambra, Enugu State, respectively, targeted at discouraging further calls for Biafra. Surprisingly, the viral footage was covered and shared by a consigned Nigerian who expressed shock overseeing a Nortana engaging in the business instead of a Sawatana expected to promote the cause. Yeah, so my people, even Aboki knows that Biafra is a great nation. There is nothing they can do about it. They can only delay the movement for a while. But what God had said, no one, once God says yes, no one can say no. They can fight Biafra, but they cannot stop Biafra. Biafra is a child of necessity, and no matter how they try to quench it, definitely what we be, we be. And that is it for you all. I'm just gonna leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. As and yeah, here also we have a Femi Falana who said that Buhari government lied about Nam the Kano's arrest and he also said that they may have drugged him before bringing him back to Nigeria. And we're just going to uh, look at the article. It says, Femi Falana, human rights lawyer, has insisted that the Nigerian government lied over Nam the Kano leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB's repatriation back to the country. Falana claimed that Kano may have been drugged after he was rearrested before he was smuggled back to Nigeria. Nigerian government had rearrested Kano in an African country and repatriated back to Nigeria. The rearrest of the IPOB leader was disclosed by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. Malami said Kano was brought back to Nigeria to continue his trial before an Abuja Federal High Court presided over by Justice Binta Nyako. However, Fallon has said such an act was against the Constitution of Nigeria. The senior advocate of Nigeria spoke at the 13th Wolesha Center Media Lecture. 
lecture series to commemorate his 87th birthday on Tuesday. He also urged Nigerians to prevent attempts by the President Muhammad Buhari's administration to take the country back to 1987 era. You see? Falana said, the, Falana said the treatment meted to Kano and Sunday Ibuho was similar to what happened to a former presidential advisor, Omaru Diko, in 1984 when he was kidnapped in London. He said, we should not allow Buhari's government to take us back to 1984 when an attempt was made to kidnap Omar Odiko in London. He had already been kidnapped and on the way to the airport, a neighbor saw them and raised an alarm after witnessing the inhuman treatment he was subjected to. In the case of Kano, Kenyan government cannot admit that on their soil, a Nigerian was taken out of their country without going through the legal process. It is likely they drugged him to sleep and brought him back to Nigeria. That is against the Anti-Torture Act and Nigerian's constitution. Therefore, those who say they brought Kano back through some international collaboration are not telling the truth. Interpol cannot deport without due process all right guys and uh, that is it for you all the case of mazin namda kano is really heating up and we like the way everything is gradually unfolding definitely with the way things are going the nigerian government will land themselves in big trouble with this namda kano's case because some dignitaries from different parts of the world are developing interest in this particular case and uh, that is it from you all from Femi Falana a senior advocate of Nigeria and uh, lastly here we have uh, this particular news here a source from the federal government has implicated UK government of playing part in Namda Kano's arrest and quickly I'm gonna read out the article for you guys it says the insistence by the British government that it was not aware of the arrest of agitator and IPOB leader Nam the Kano may be inaccurate. Hmm. The world power had refuted spe speculations that Kano was arrested in Britain during a state extending operation in conjunction with Nigeria. A source close to the federal authorities told Daily Post Tuesday night that the united kingdom denied knowledge for bilateral reasons yes kano was not apprehended in the uk he was apprehended in an african nation but they knew about it what did you expect your official to say the british government and nigeria are allies you think they would support one individual over a long-term partner I am going to be sincere with you. It got to a point where Britain was not comfortable about Nam the Kano's utterances. Yeah, they will not be comfortable because, you see, the truth is bitter. The world in general is against anybody who speaks the truth. So, Nam the Kano, being who he is, saying it the way it is, is making the UK uncomfortable and that is why they are doing everything to crucify him. But definitely, God will stand by Nam the Kano. If they like, they deny playing part. If they like, they don't deny it. What will be, will be. The most important thing now is that lawyers from different parts of the world are developing interest. So definitely, justice will be saved. And uh, that is it uh, for you all, my people. I'm just going to leave you all to share uh, your thought with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.